In my last video, we saw how the second messenger, cyclic AMP, was created by the enzyme adenylyl cyclase. And now we'll see how cyclic AMP is used as a second messenger to pass the message on um, to a signal transduction pathway. So inside the cell, we have um, some protein kinases. Now remember, a kinase is an enzyme responsible for transferring uh, phosphate groups. Now, our signal transduction pathway is made mostly of proteins, uh, relay proteins, and these relay proteins are basically kinases. Now, this kinase shown here in this aqua color is an inactive um, protein kinase. So here's an inactive protein kinase, and cyclic AMP's job is to um, activate it. So in cyclic AMP, the second messenger, attaches to an inactive protein kinase A, it changes it to its active form. And now here is an active protein kinase, which then its job is to basically phosphorylate other molecules. So here's protein kinase number two. Now protein kinase A is going to phosphorylate it. It's going to take a phosphate from ATP and transfer it to this protein kinase, protein kinase number two, which will then put this kinase in, its kinase in its active form. And now this kinase can transfer a phosphate from ATP to the next protein kinase in, this, in the signal transduction pathway. And this will continue on um, for however many protein kinases there are. <laughs>